everybody, I'm Jackie coming to you from the Playroom and um, I'm going to go over this week's crafting project with us today. So I've been really excited about us doing this project for a while so I'm happy it's finally happening. Um, but we are going to be decorating tote bags. So this is one I kind of got a little bit of a start on and um, as we're going along I'll show you kind of what I have done to get this started and then also um, some other stuff along the way. So. Uh, what we have uh, for us today, we have some sequins and some puppy paint and some glue, that all stuff that we have used before. And then we also have some fabric markers that are gonna be added to the mix, as well as these all wool pom-poms that will be a fun addition. Um, also, so we, um, as part of what we're doing today, we're gonna be working with a needle and thread. So I have already threaded this needle so we can kind of get started. And this is definitely more for our experienced crafters. Um, our younger friends, I have included glue in your kits um, that way uh, that you don't have to worry about any pricked fingers or anything. So with that, let's get crafty. So obviously it's a very um, time intensive project to do it this way, but I find um, I found that it just like helps the sequins kind of stay on a little bit better. Um, a little bit longer if you sew them on. The much quicker route and um, I probably would, um, the much more recommended route would be to glue it on. So here I can show you, like so I have my surface and then just kind of add glue. You can even make a little butterfly if you want to do it. So here we go, we got our nice little butterfly with sequins after we, you know, kind of outlined it with glue and then put the sequins of whatever color we wanted there. So um, I was trying to make a little butterfly and um, yeah, there we go. So um, obviously it's a very messy job because it had glue and then I was putting my hands all in it. So I'm gonna make sure to wash my hands before we continue. Um, so what's so nice about doing a tote bag this week is it's kind of just like a large canvas for, to, for us to do whatever type of project we want on it. So I've shown you the butterfly and then I'm also now gonna show you how to, are just some ideas with the fabric uh, markers. So um, I have a whole array of colors. Everyone who's staying here is gonna get a sample of all the colors but um, I'm gonna start and um, kind of do a little bit of a garden so I'm gonna do some flowers and some grass and then kind of go along with our butterfly that we have so far um, yeah so start with the grass and then you know obviously you kind of draw whatever you would like to draw so some flowers, stems and leaves. Um, I have found that it's whenever I'm drawing a flower, if I start with the circle first, and then that way I can kind of build on the petals around it. What's nice about this, so if I mess up like I kind of did on one of the leaves, I can go back and kind of make them a little bit bigger because if I color them in, it disappears.
my flowers um, so the next thing I'm gonna go over is kind of how to do the pom-poms on the on the edge of the tote bag so like I showed you before I was working along the top edge of it um, so we have again our needle and thread so um, this is for our, our more experienced crafters and then get started and you take one of the pom-poms this is actually pretty easy with it because once you have your needle and thread in the bag, then you put it through and just kind of sew it on. So just sewing it on the first pom-pom. So got the needle and thread through that, and now I'm just gonna tie the knot on the inside. Side. We got our first one on the outside and just kind of go through. So once you're kind of going along, uh, I got a little caterpillar here so far. Um, as you're going along with it, uh, the they will kind of start to crowd together and then like this. Um, so the last thing I'm going to show you is kind of with some of our uh, puffy paint that we've used before on different projects. So once you kind of have your whole design done and everything, it's kind of it, it's fun idea to go back and do some little dots along the way and um, after you're all done with your tote make sure everything all the glue is dry and all the puffy paint is dry before you start using it and taking it on adventures so I'm just gonna show real quick so if you it's a fun idea to add a little bit of texture to the bag and there we go and with that thank you guys so much for joining me this week i um, please share whatever creation that you are able to come up with i'm sure it's fantastic and i hope you are able to join us next tuesday at five o'clock